Kevin Reagan has apparently been thrown off the pitch as touch judge. Looking for the second phase. Okay, you're trying to drive it. Not coming out. The attacking ball in. KU's put in. Ball out the tunnel. <clears throat> we'll scrum it down again. KU's put in. One cleanly. Bottle back to the pack. Over the top, number six, Blues, Mindenhall. Bit of a scuffle, nothing, nothing of consequence. touch. touch. Quick in to Bartle. Could be a break for the Blues. calling for the ball. That's David Kim into touch. Others, Andy Brown. Bartle with the out to Mason, to Renfro, to Boyle, to Pryor, back to Boyle. Well takes a hit, makes the ball available. No one there. Kamarowski dancing around. Late hit, reader on Kamarowski. Be a kick or kick. Ruben Horst, pop kicks. Blues coming down hard. Billy Pryor takes the ball cleanly. And finds touch, fine play. Time waning in this this match. Ball not in straight. Scrum down, KU's ball. KU 
Okay, you're winning the ball. Renfro. To Renfro. Nowhere to go. Walter Fingers ties him up. Not, ball not coming out. Leathers with a break. Out to Andy Brown. To the wing. That's a score. Fine movement. Fine movement. Twenty-four to twenty. Okay, use lead slipping away rather quickly. up and it's good 24 to 22 penalty kick can make the difference now less than five minutes to play going to have a big finish to a big game Royal kicks off. Carl Tripp calling for the ball. Goes hard upfield. Ball comes out cleanly. To Barnhart, kicks ahead. David Kim fielding the ball and going hard upfield. Blues taking him down nicely. Paul Les with the ball going short side. Pop kicking ahead. Finds touch in the corner. All right. That's the game. And that's the game. Another fine contest in a traditional series.
Final score is KU 24, the Blues 22. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to Jayhawk Field, the 23rd and Iowa Shank Recreation Complex, where we will be having a second side match between the KU Collegiates and the Blues B side. They are lining up for the kick right now. Rather blustery day to the north east. Looking for a touch judge right now. Since nobody knows how to run touch, we're probably all going to stand here and hold ourselves, but we will continue. We will have some guest appearances during this fine broadcast where we will try and solicit some idiot to come up here and give us his words of wisdom during the match. Referee checks both sides and we start the match. Bob Hills on the catch. Turn to present ball. We have a mall in progress and the referee blows a whistle. Ball not coming out. Ball awarded to the KU side. KU put in. Sean Dog bending over for the put. And KU wins the hook. Ball out a week with Matthew breaking. Out to Sean. Turn to present ball. Good KU Maul. Ball put down on the ground and over. Ball out. Oh, good control. We have a knock by Pete. And the referee blows on the knock on. The awarding the ball to the Blues. KU not appearing to move up on the defense too quickly. Here we go. Ball placed in and won by the Blues. Controlled and out. Attempted weak side. Hospital orthopedic pass with Sean Dawkins. Steve Dawkins, excuse me, collecting the ball. And the ball comes out weak side to Sean Daw. Ball released. Good maul by the KU side. And the ball's out again. A little short, up and under, and out for touch. And almost hitting the fine viewing stable, table up here. It will be awarded to the, the Kansas City Blues. And we're just about at midfield. Referee complaining about tunnels. He doesn't know he played for a St. Louis team, so who's to say? Signals being called. Ball in and won by Kansas KU. But breaking through the line was the Kansas City Blues and controlling the ball. KU trying to gather for the mall. Ball not being moved and will probably be blown dead. Still no so. Ball on the pitch. Won by the Blues. Out to the wing. Drag down. Ball still in play and taken out on a fine tackle by Matthew Blondell and Narayan from with an English accent person. We do have brilliant cam work, camera work today by Mr. Rod Randall. Do you have any comments today, Rod? No. Thank you. And the ball thrown in on a two-man line. KU won, but not controlling the ball well. Setting back for the mall, driving forward. It appears the ball will be carried out by KU and awarded to the Kansas City Blues. KU needing to control that ball when coming down from the two-man line out. Kansas City very strong in breaking through the line. And the throw in and taken by the number two jumper of the Kansas City Blues. Winning them all, but oh, brilliant work by KU. Yeah. Yeah. 
Matthew Blondell with the ball on the background, releases to roll back to his players. Out by KU, taken by Pete Knudsen, turning to present, and Amal forming on Pete. Ball out again, no. There it goes, out by KU, brilliant, out, get it out. Steve Dawkins not releasing the ball, but making good progress. KU with a good mauling effort. And blown dead by the referee. I believe he's called something against the Kansas City. Well, yes, I believe it was a knock-on. Will be awarded to the KU team. KU nice and low before the, here we go, moving in. Good low, getting wheeled a little bit, but winning the ball, but coming out, not controlled by the number eight, kicked through behind the backs, running backward. Oh, bad play by the Kansas City Blues. Good effort by Sean. Sean Daw with a nice, strong tackle. Ball's out by the Blues, put up in the air, trying to find touch inside the 22 meter line of the Kansas City Blues, taken by Martin Gray. Martin up and out. No ball, not finding touch. Following the play. Actually, Kansas City binding on the offsides, but not controlled. Adam Winter taking the man out of the play. And an excellent play. KU ga regaining 25 yards on the kick. The wind picking up slightly to the northeast. Kansas City Blues may be finding advantage with the wind in this half trying to find the corner for touch. Line out controlled by Kansas City nicely. Out to the standoff. Oh, taken through by David Fry. And called a knock on. Nice play by David Fry. Good attempt. Will be a knock awarded to the Kansas City Blues, but brilliant defense by KU. And a near score by Mr. David Fry. It'll be a Kansas City put in. KU again, nice and low. They must come on. Ball put in. Oh, one against the head by KU. Beautiful play. And taken weak side by Matthew Blondell. Fed into the into Don Huggins. Nice. Placed nicely back by Don. And again, second phase by KU. There's the ball out. That's Dawkins. Fry. Knudsen. Knudsen breaking wide. Put down and kicked out by the Kansas City Blues. Should be awarded to K. No, the touch judge is a little biased, of course. He wears a headband, so who's to say? Looks like he does a little drugs on the side. Kansas City put in. Kansas City very strong in the line out again, controlling the ball with the number two jumper. Given to the scrum half and kicked up and finding touch no, Narayan's got the ball, counter-attacking KU, did not get it out, it's a shame, need to present ball, lost to Kansas City, strip their scrum half to their standoff, oh, a poor pass, still controlled, again to their wing, to their fullback, and kicked through, trying to find touch, a nice kick into the box again from the Kansas City Blues, finding touch around the 22 meter line. <laughs> <laughs> they are chastising the, red, the announcer of this fine match this evening. You know what? Do I have to turn this on? Yes. Kick by Sean Daw. Controlled through by Joe Duffy, and the ball finding touch from a Kansas player. Ball will be inside the 22 meter line and awarded to the Kansas City Blues. I believe we had some microphone problems that we might have missed the first, oh, five to 10 minutes of the match. We do have a blustery day, the wind blowing to the northeast. We Kansas City put in, they have been controlling the ball quite strongly on the line outs. They've been going to their number two jumper. Again to the number two jumper, out to the scrum half. Standoff, working his scissor play nicely, but not going very far with Tommy Doyle. Ball placed down by Kansas City. Oh, hands into the mall, but I guess it wasn't formed yet. Number nine going weak, 
all by himself, and a nice tackle by Archie Byers. Good control of the play. I believe the ball was, oh, he called a high, dangerous tackle on that. A bit questionable, I thought he tackled them quite well. Ball awarded to the Kansas City Blues. Five meters inside the 22 line. And they go out to the backs. A poor pass, not controlled well. Kansas, oh, David Fry picking it up, trying to present ball. Ball to the ground, and KU mauling over the ball. Nicely done by KU. I'm being chastised by the infamous individual who has much support with KU. Not much play, but much support, Rick Von Endy. And touchdown by KU in the try line. I believe it will be awarded a 22 meter dropout to KU. Good pressure by the Kansas City Blues on that play. KU lining to the right. Ball just finding the line right over the 22 meter. Ball, according to the referee, did not go the proper distance, giving choice to the Kansas City Blues. They choose a scrum down in center pitch, and it will be the Kansas City Blues put in. Ball put in now, no, yes, finding one by the Kansas City Blues. Nice push by the Blues. No, taken against the head by KU. David Fry back. Pete Knudsen trying to find touch. Rolls out just beyond the 22 meter line. I'm, I'm Charlie Manson has given me some information regarding calling this match. I'm supposed to add more color to the match. Therefore, I'll describe to you the ball did roll out from the ground out of me out of into touch, awarding the line out to Kansas City Blues at that point. Again to the number two jumper, but not controlled properly. Questionable throw in as far as going, not going straight. KU mauling over the ball. Ball on the far side of the field, difficult to see who's controlled it. Ball kicked through by Sean Daw, but controlled by the Kansas City Blues. Following back behind, and a nice play by Martin Gray, taking it upfield. Nice running, back inside. Oh, not controlled. Knocked on by KU, but not controlled or called. Nice maul by the KU team. Back out to Dawkins. Oh, he's got three men, but he didn't use them. Needs to use his men on that. I think it would be a nice point when we see the film to see that we did have a, a three-on-two opportunity there. Oh, not releasing the ball called against the KU Jayhawks. Awarded to Kansas City and they believe they are indicating that they're going for post. As you know, if they award a penalty, and Kansas City selects to go for post, the touch judges will come around. This try or attempt will be for three points. I believe that their flanker is the kicker for the Kansas City Blues. Ball is up in the air, and it's good. Three points to the Kansas City Blues. KU coming back down, trying to attack. The Blues slow and moving back, surprisingly. KU not, not moving quite as well either, but coming up. Now, after the kick, you'll find that the team that scored will then again receive the ball. The ball must travel 10 meters. So you can see by the markings on the field, there is a 10 meter mark and Martin Gray will be doing the kicking. Ball in the air, nicely done, a little little weak, but not controlled well by KU Kansas City Blues. A poor pop kick, Sean Daw coming down with the ball, breaking through, looking for his support. Good maul by the KU team, but it appears that it will be stripped down by the Kansas City Blues. Daw back out again, ball not coming out. Awarded to the defending side, in other words, Kansas City Blues will get the ball since they are inside their own 50. Good low pack by KU, but draw him down. The hook 
Walker by the Kansas City Blues, driven down into the ground. Very, very dangerous. Pops must make an effort in order to allow binding. Questionable by KU right there. Got some children running around, having great fun. Always wonderful spectators. Ball put again in. Oh, foot up by the Blues, terribly. And called by the referee. The Blues must retreat 10 yards on a, on a foot up by the hooker. Matthew Blondell taking the ball from the, from the mark. Appears to be going fine touch. He'll be kicking against a fairly strong wind. Ball up into the air. Not finding touch. Controlled by number six of the Kansas City Blues. Kicking it right back again. Over the wing's head. Martin Gray kicking again. Must follow the play. Oh, knocked on by number 10 of the Kansas City Blues. And will be called by the referee. In other words, the ball will be awarded to the KU Jayhawks. Questionable on the offsides there, although Martin was taken out of the play a bit late. Ball put in by Sean Daw. Oh, won by KU Jayhawks nicely. Controlled out, going weak side with Sean Daw. Back into Archie Byers. Oh, nicely done by KU. Again, weak side. Steve Dawkins going out. He's got a winger with him. Puts the ball back to Bob Hills, to Narayan. Oh, not controlled by Narayan. Very tough, but a nice play by KU going into the weak side, gaining at least 15 meters in the play. Ball does find touch, I believe. No, we'll be calling a knock on by KU, awarded to the Kansas City Blues. Ball one again by the Kansas City Blues, and they're put in. Good defense by Sean Dawkins. Sean Dawkins, excuse me, back out to their standoff. Up and under. Finding the ground. Narayan trying to control it. No, and taken out for touch. Ball will be awarded again to the Kansas City Blues. If touched by a KU player prior to leaving the field, it will be awarded to the other team. Kansas City will probably again be looking for their number two jumper. Seemingly very strong in their throw into the number two jumper. Yes, oh, done well, nicely by Quinn. Oh, controlled by KU, but nice play by the Kansas City scrum half. Back to Dawkins to Fry, trying to find touch. Not done. Tackled and thrown, all right. Kansas City ridden out of bounds. Will be awarded to the KU Jayhawks for the line out. KU having a bit of difficulty in the lineouts, not controlling the ball. Kansas City being a slightly taller club, a little stronger in the lineout. They're not lining up properly right now. Number one is, oh, should be penalized for that. He did not, oh, number six going off sides. A man not uh, in the line. It was called by the referee. He playing the advantage. Very well done by the referee. Awarded to KU. Kansas City retreating 10 meters. Matthew Blondell again appearing to go for touch. And the boot and finding touch roughly 10, 15 meters ahead. Ball will be put in by the Kansas City Blues. We've got a very nice day today. A bit windy, but good rugby playing weather. If you weren't here earlier, the Kansas Jayhawks in the A-side game did take the Kansas City Blues 24-22 in a very close match at the end. KU going to an 18-0 start. Ball thrown in by Kansas City. Number four breaking into the tunnel, that's Bob Hills. Penalty awarded to the Kansas City Blues. Questionable call. Bob Hills not appearing very happy. Kansas City going to find touch here. Strong wind behind him. Ball kicked down, not finding very far, probably about 10 meters. Well done by the KU Jayhawks in the sense that they do gain a little bit of an advantage here. When you do kick the ball out, you do lose advantage of the ball. Ball being awarded to the KU Jayhawks. Going to a two man line out quickly. Kansas City unaware as to what's going on, having men not properly positioned and not 10 meters back. Not called by the referee. Out to Dawkins, to Fry. Pete Knudsen controlling it well. Don Huggins, ooh, taking a vicious hit by the Kansas City Blues. KU 
calling now. Ball not appearing to come out very quickly. Referee allowing play to continue. Difficult to see the ball from this angle. And the referee blowing it dead. We'll have a scrum down. I don't know who they awarded to. It should be awarded to the defending side, which would be KU. And that is the case. KU nice and low. Ball put in. One by KU nicely. Controlling. Oh, offsides by the scrum half of Kansas City Blues. The ball was still in the pack. Controlled by the number eight. Oh, a questionable call by the referee. I don't know where he decided to call that. Not yet. <laughs> we don't know whether we're really running here, but it, at least it sounds good. Kansas City going to appearing to find touch. Possibly, oh, an up and under. KU circling, trying to find. Controlled by Bob Hills. No, rolled back, Sean Daw. Out to the wing. There goes Martin Gray, nicely done. Kick through, but blocked by the Kansas City Blues. Ball finding touch. Two whistles by the referee. I'm not quite certain as to why. Ball awarded to the Kansas City Blues on the line out. Again, look to their second jumper. They'll probably throw in quickly to him. It's been quite effective thus far. Oh, can tip back by KU, not quite controlled. Dawkins trying to find touch, and he does in nearly the same spot. Ball will be awarded to the Kansas City Blues again. Hey, me and Howard, you know, we're JBs, both of us. Kansas City throw in. Oh, going to their second jumper. Oh, ball fi not finding the standoff quite well. Controlled by Martin Gray. Trying to find touch. Nicely done by Martin Gray. Oh, Kansas City maybe looking for a quick throw in. Whistle down. Martin Gray down on that one. A really tough play. Martin's down. He's looking for water. Trying to revive him. Of course, we all know that water makes you play 800 times better once it's put on the back of your neck, even if you did break your leg. All right, ball back in play. Sean Daw out to Steve Dawkins. Dawkins breaking. Don't touch. Now we had a bad throw in by Kansas City Blues. Choice award to the KU Jayhawks. KU going to be putting it in on the scrum down. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Handled well. I'd like to thank our technical.